Pauline Petrucci. Yes. General Manager of Pittsburgh Musical Theater. Correct. And also... Conservatory Director. That's a double title. It is. Are you living the dream? I am living the dream. It is a beautiful dream. It really is. How did the dream start for you? Um, the dream started for me at Pittsburgh Musical Theater by coming here and doing a show professionally. I actually performed in their 1996 production of Crazy For You. So you began as an actress then? I did, a dancer, really. Okay. You know, I, I grew up in the dance world, um, came here and did the show as, you know, Vera, one of the tappers, you know, in the ensemble. Fell in love with the company at the time, and they had a small educational program attached to it, enrolled my own children into that program um, began by substitute teaching classes when instructors weren't here worked my way up through a um, through the program into a full-time faculty member um, into the conservatory director and then to the general manager wow that's quite a journey yeah. it's yeah. I can see it, it in is. a little beeline map it know. is it is but the best way to know a company from the inside and I think I just as you've grown, the company has too. There's some exciting things happening right. these days with Pittsburgh right. Musical Theater. What's uh, yes. what's cooking? Well, what's cooking is we just purchased the building that we've been in since 2000. And that is James Center. The James uh, Center. Which we're in right now. We're uh, here in the James Center in the West End. We are. Um, this is a new redeveloping neighborhood in the city to start with. We've been here since the year 2000. And uh, we have purchased this building. It belongs to us. And we are in a major renovation. Um, our first capital campaign in 24 years and we're very proud of it and it's exciting it's exciting to see things happening a new roof and the new mortar and eventually the new classrooms and we're able to provide the space we need for this company you know this company like we're entering we're close to our 25th anniversary so it's and congratulations 25, on thank that. you thank you um, this is a company that was started by founding director Ken Gargaro who is still very active here we are a company that's unique in its way that we have a professional company but we also have this wonderful education program and they sit side by side they work well and they play well together one does not exist without the other and um, any student that you would see, any child in one of our shows, 18 years and younger, come directly out of this school. So we provide the learning environment that gives our children the skills to actually be able to put it onto the main stage. Who is the ideal student for Pittsburgh Musical uh, You know what, the idea, that's a good question. The ideal student is really somebody interested in the arts, interested in creativity. Um, the student who wants to find friends, family, because we are very much a family here. Um, communication skills, the parent that's looking for their child to be able to communicate. I want the students here to feel comfortable. When they walk in the door, this feels like their home. This feels like someplace they feel safe. They feel like they can, they can let all of that out. They can use that creativity, have confidence in what they say, learn their time management skills. Um, it's very much a home. It's a very supportive environment. Am I too old? Because you just sold me. Yeah, I kind of <laughs> well, out. you're not too old. We have an adult program that oh, we started good. this Great. year. Well, I'm glad I asked. Yeah, and we have we have um, adult acting classes, and we also have this amazing group of women. They're called the Tap Cats, and they are women who are 40 years and older, and they have a tap class. And these women are fierce. Uh, now, have uh, a lot of your students had? success after going through the, the program? Uh, we have a very good successful rate of students that have performed all over the country and on Broadway um, and they're wonderful to connect with and I was in New York just the past couple days and got to connect with some of the students but it's not just the performing careers um, I've really concentrated on them as human beings hmm. and they've taken these skills you know I have students who are editors of magazines and casting agents in New York City and you know our lawyers and doctors, our, our students really are able to step ahead and, mm. and have some confidence in, and you know, this education, it's, it's so far reaching and so far beyond um, just being an actor on the stage, you know. Now as general manager, do you choose the season? I have input in the season. Yeah, Ken and I sit down and we think about the season. Um, 
I've, what is that process like? That process, you know, it can be difficult because by, you know, as you probably know, getting licensing right to some of these shows yeah. is very difficult. And you, you know. may think you have it, and then, uh, you know, the very next day. The very next day, it's gone. Yep. So um, not only do we have to, you know, part of it is fulfilling our mission, family-friendly, affordable theater. Um, using local actors. Yeah. So what's uh, what's the 2014 season looking like? 2014. Are we, can we get a hint? Oh can yeah. Get, okay. Oh, it's, it's out there, baby. I'm giving right. it to you. Um, we have Shrek in February, which I'm looking forward to. Um, that's a big show for us. I didn't even know that was a musical. I mean, oh, I know it's a, it's a movie, but yeah. I guess it's a somewhere movie. Along it's line. a musical. It's nicely done. Um, a lot of special effects and. Uh, the music is beautiful. The words, you know, touch your heart. It's a wonderful story. We're, we're doing that. Then we go into Les Mis, Les Miserables. We're doing that mm. uh, on our main stage. It's very ambitious. Yeah, it's a great show, though. You know, what a story to tell. Um, we're doing that in March, and then we have Susical in May. So wow. Susical the musical. You're running the gamut there. I am. From ogres to french revolution to dr seuss my head's going to be spinning this exactly is fantastic. exactly you know all the way into the poetry and the artwork of dr seuss which is a wonderful thing so do you kind of you know balance them out to try to have uh, you I know, do. a good variety when you're choosing a I season? Do. Is that you know I, I try to look at the audience as a whole are we, are we um filling each one of those areas where people, you know, like—I mean, the the wonderful stories, the entertainment, the the visual aspect of what the audience is looking at—you know, all of those things go into it. So. You guys always have something going we on. We have something going on. This is a theater factory. It is, <laughs> per se. <laughs> now I have to ask: Is there a musical? I mean, you've spent a long time in the musical theater. Is there a musical that you just can't stand? Now, yes, you, I'm going to tell yes, and everybody that's watching this is going to laugh before I even say it. There's a musical I can't stand. It's Godspell. Ah, uh, yeah. I don't, you know, nothing against it. And you're right, because you may even produce it, but it's just, you know. This company has done it yeah. quite a few times. Just something about it that don't want to don't want to buy that ticket. Yeah. So, I don't know. And there are, there are folks that love it. For me, of it's... Course. Rodgers and Hammerstein. So we'll look it forward is. to more exciting things from mm -hmm. PMT in the future. Yes. You guys just keep on going. We're going to keep on going. We're, we've got a big story to tell here, and uh, I want people to keep their eye on this company and on this education program because we are here and we are home, as we say now that we own this building. We are home and we are here to stay. Who were you? I was Vera. I was Bella Zangler were many you years really? ago. Oh, yes. oh I love it. It's one of my favorite roles my favorite show. The Tap Cats. The Tap Cats. You know, That's I just saw a, a show with live house cats, trained uh -huh. house cats. Did you hear about <laughs> this? It was in town. Yes, I, I heard you, about it. I, I heard about it. it. Yeah. You know, I don't consider myself a very good dancer, you know, but I feel like I would be good at tap. Pittsburgh audiences love material that they are familiar with also. You know this. Um, they like to know every word of every song and oh, sing along. I mean, look, you know? the chief is running as long as cats Exactly. Did, so, I mean. <laughs> At her wedding, when she marries Mr. Von Trapp, they sing the song again about how Impossible she I is. Know. How are we going to solve this up. problem? Yeah. Now, like, you want somebody singing that at your wedding? I know. Can yeah. we get any hints to uh, that? I don't, I don't think so. Uh, I wish I could. I wish I'll I could. Pour you another but martini. I, no. <laughs> <laughs>